So this is the aquaponics system and um, all of the levels of the water in each area in each subsystem are engineered so that the there's only one pump needed that's actually unique about this system and then of course all the cinder blocks and wood structure this is um, more than I need for a backyard system but of course the idea was that it could be translated into something bigger um, I made this so that I could evaluate how much water we need, how much light we need, um, how effective is a swirl filter, what's the capacity of the swirl filter, how many plants per square meter can you fit in a, in a setup like this, and can the roots survive when they're exposed to a little bit of light, which turned out uh, it really worked great. And the fish, the fish waste in, from this tank provided um, more nutrients than I ever expected. Uh, all I had to do is supplement a little bit of the um, the micronutrients like potassium, and um, and then there's a slope here at the bottom with the sand that um, I can probably indicate here. So there's a gravel inside um, inside the base that brings my water back to the drainage area. So the slope of this is also engineered and, um, and everything can be scaled up pretty easily. So I would, I would be happy if somebody copied off this system or if, if we need design help, I can, we can talk about that too. I almost forgot to mention that uh, the purpose of all this is uh, to be able to get the energy from the sun. Most, um, most high-tech or most well-designed aquaponic systems are supplemented with LEDs or they're fully indoors. And um, this amount of infrastructure is, is uh, pretty heavy and pretty solid for a, a long-lasting system. It, it's a little bit expensive at the beginning, but the amount saved on not using LEDs is the really attractive part. In some place like Malaysia, it would be, I think, very appropriate. Also, the the path that the water takes um, and when it falls, where it falls, is actually performing some cooling, passive cooling that you don't need to pay for. And that's another very um, important feature, as well as the having this tank embedded in the earth is also for cooling because this is backfilled with dirt or gravel and that, um, that allows the tank to cool down the water on the hot days.